right, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about stop loss, <clears throat> what it is, what it means, um, and how to add it. So when you're in your trades here, sometimes you get a little deep. There may be situations that you have where you don't want to let it go that deep. When you go into the settings here, <clears throat> you're going to notice that there's a section called enable stop loss and stop loss or stop trades after stop loss. This section will uh, generate a line that your ATA will say, hey, if it hits this, we're done. Stop us out, right? Um, this could be very powerfully used uh, to protect your account from a parabolic move in a bull run or a bear market where we're entering the bear market and you see some mass flash crashes um, or pumps. Um, this could also be very powerful um, on altcoins like such as Matic, who's had um, almost 100%, actually, I think 100% run um, recently, right? So you don't want to get caught in that in the wrong direction because it could be very, very uh, costly. So how do you enable your stop loss? You can enable your stop loss just by simply checking the stop loss button here. Now you need to choose a percent. As you choose the percent, it will give you the difference in the stats of how that would have performed. So let's start off with um, a higher percent, such as like, um, <clears throat> let's go with 100. So you can tell we are always using multiple multipliers of, uh, you know, around 100 percent, 90 percent, et cetera, um, on how the code is built. So if we entered in 100% stop loss, how would that make my profit? Ooh, looks like we got pretty wrecked, right? We took $73 loss, we only made $72. We took 163 trades, but we got our butts kicked. Now, there's some stop losses that are great because you have this one that protected you from this fall and then allowed you to start trading. But then you have some where it stopped you out on this red line and then took off parabolic, right? So sometimes it can help you, sometimes it can hurt you. You took a total of 36 stop losses. A stop loss is going to be when the ATA is going to execute a close on that trade, uh, which will create a loss on your account. So you want to be very careful on choosing where you put that stop loss. That is why we use this statistic bar here to kind of help you make that decision. So let's just say we decide to bump this to 200, and then we're going to click off into this black area. How many stop losses would that hit me with? <clears throat> And now our algorithm is going to basically work. Um, it's going to tell you, hey, based on back testing in the last 19 days, you would have hit 14 stop losses. We're still not in good shape. So let's go to 300. And again, the algorithm's thinking it's working, doing its magic. And okay, we're looking a little better. We're still kind of hurting negative, right? But you know, we're only at six stop losses. So let's see if we push this to 400. See if that'll eliminate some of these stop losses. <clears throat> and you can see each time you do it, the red line's getting uh, pushed down. Now, you will be able to, if, if, you, if you just look at this, um, sometimes it's not going to be super uh, accurate of it because, you know, you could have some um, uh, times like this where if you just moved it just slightly down, right, it would have missed that, right? So you, instead of taking that big loss, um, causing this this potential loss, we know that we're getting pretty close. And and what I mean by that is, you know, look back and try to find your stop losses and see how cl like how close were you from it. Like here, barely hit it, right? And then it went to profit. These little um, triangles here are the ones that are your stop losses. So you can keep scrolling across and scrolling across. It's, you know, we know that there's four of them in here. Here's another one. Right now, this one would have got caught unless we go pretty, pretty far down. Right, so let's go ahead and continue manipulating these stop losses. <clears throat> so we're going to come over to this area again one more time. Let's open up this gear and let's just change this to 500. <clears throat> now, the higher percentage, the further away, which could be a bigger loss if it hits. But in trading, you need to let the ATA, just like when you're live trading, have some room to actually move because we don't have a crystal ball. We don't know exactly where the market's going. So we, we're looking like we're getting in better shape. Um, you know, we're still rocking those negatives, which means we took a big loss somewhere. Um, let's just move this to 600. We still got two. So you know what? Let's go ahead and put it up to like 1,000. Um, oh, missed a zero. And let's see if that clears out those two stop losses. Um, and then maybe we can work our way back from there, right? Because that's typically going to be a range. So it looks like a thousand clears those stop losses out. Let's see if they're still cleared out with 900. 
<clears throat> or if that's where it gets us. All right, I'm still thinking. It's got a lot of data to, to, to process and a lot of calculations to, to put in there. So sometimes it, it might take a minute. So depending what it has to reduce. So it doesn't look like 900 hit to hit us. So we, we can stick with 900 or we can test the boundaries, pull it down a little bit closer um, into the 800 range. Let's we'll see if the 800 would have got us. <clears throat> We're just trying to find that, that sweet spot, right? So it looks like 800 is uh, where it would have got caught on one of the parabolic moves. So I'm gonna choose 900. Um, you're either okay with one stop loss. I mean, yeah, it shows you you have a loss up there, but I mean, the the odds of how many wins you're going to get from that, um, if you manage it properly, you know, um, trading your range, you know, you may never hit that stop loss, right? This is just back test data. Had you ran it through 100%. Now, you can also choose stop a trade after a stop loss. This is a good uh, option if you believe a coin might go parabolic um, one direction or another, and you don't want to continue to just ride it the wrong way and um, stopping out over and over and over, right? So if you do this option, you're going to notice if I go to, um, let's go back to that 800 because we know that at least one stop loss hit, and we're going to go try to find it. So sometimes it is easier to scrunch it down, but notice how it wiped out all of these trades. They're all gone. And the reason why is because wherever that stop loss hit, it will it stopped trading. It would not take any more trades after that stop loss. So we're just kind of flipping through um, to see where this stop loss was. It's probably way back in the there. It is. There we are. So it looks like it took a long um, way back win and came down just barely barely licked that stop loss right there, um, and then it stopped trading. So the whole purpose of that I just want to show you is when you do check that box, it will not take any more trades. Could be good, could be bad. In this instance, it was bad because it stopped out literally on the lowest point possible and then went parabolic, right? And we're in long, so we, we would want that thing to keep trading. So um, I use this more on like Solana, Matic, things that are really moving crazy fast. Um, and I use these only on directional trades that I, I'm looking to um basically just kind of put a day or or an hour a couple hours um scalping in uh, where you know like if i go to bed and i'm like hey maddox way high in the range i think it's gonna fall i don't want to wake up to being super deep in a trade so i'm just gonna set it to to take my swing for five six ten wins and overnight and then um when i get up if it hits stop loss you know oh well i don't have to worry about it. i didn't lose my account right that's where i would use that so um, the stop losses, again, when you generate those, you will get that red line. That red line is where that stop loss is on that trade. Works the same as uh, whether it's for shorts or for longs. Um, I hope that helps you guys understand what a stop loss is and how that impacts your trading. Also, how to read it on the statistics. Uh, if you have any further questions, reach us at support at or inside of our community.